Hello, everybody. So today I want to continue my series about zero to one ideas and zero to one products and apply these concepts really to my stocks and hymns. What is hymns to the view of the customer? How does hymns create value to the customer? And how is hymns a radical idea? A radical innovation. So if you've seen this series, you probably know, know the, the premise of this. But the whole idea is that when once you compete, you know, it's not good enough to be 10 to 20 percent better than the competition. Once you compete, you really want to be 10 times better. You really want to have a product that's so radical, a service that's so much better than the competition that your customers really adopt your product and switch and they don't stay, remain in in their habit mode, the habit mode of this is the way it's always been done, this is the way, in the case of hymns, this is the way healthcare should look like, healthcare has always looked like this, I'm going to stay with my current healthcare. Well, yeah, you're going to stay with your current healthcare if the product offering is just 10 to 20% better. But if it is that much better, my assumption and that's the assumption of zero to one right the peter thiel book is that people will switch when something is so much better when you have a true zero to one move and in my view hymns is a great example of a better service a better business and the goal of my video is really to go through uh, what makes hymns better and also to go through you know why this is an s curve and why the product of hymns is going to get adopted in my opinion so let me get started so hymns and her health versus legacy healthcare what makes hymns and hers superior so first of all getting treated with hymns and hers is clear pricing it's between 40 and 17 dollars a month depending on the treatment that you look at so you know what you pay right out of pocket 40 to 70 for legacy healthcare it may cost you more right if you have to if you have to have a 20 dollar copay and you need to go get pills every week it may cost you more and it almost always costs you more if you have to be the one paying your insurance premium which you, you always are indirectly right if you're insure if you if your employer pays for an insurance uh, premium for you indirectly that's money that you could have earned so from that standpoint it's always going to be more expensive you know assuming someone pays say a six seven hundred dollar monthly premium and they just need one treatment then that's an example where hims is 10x better from an economic standpoint and you can see how hims is going to be very compelling to people who don't want to pay these insurance premiums um, but if you add the copay into the balance hims is at least on par and is often cheaper than the copay so it starts with the cost getting treated with the, with the service of hims is cheaper which is why i believe people are going to adopt this company they're going to adopt this product and and you know that's going to drive the stock up Here's another big advantage of going through an app like Hims. The main advantage is that um, because you don't have insurance telling you yes or no, because the legacy healthcare, you're often going to say, oh, well, if this is not covered, then I'm not going to get treated. That's often the state of mind. Oh, if it's not covered, then I really don't, don't need it. Um, well, that's not the case for Hims. Hims, you get treated if your provider thinks you should get treated, right? When you go on Hims, you're like, hey, I have a problem. And then you, you get put in front of a provider and the provider decides whether you, you are eligible for the treatment or not because it's your money you're in control and you decide whether you want to be treated or not this is not the case for insurance you need your insurance's approval if you are in that state of mind of not accepting paying out of pocket and sure enough there's very important treatments as, as i'll talk, talk in a song on like ed or air loss which are very important to mental health which are almost never covered by legacy insurance this is one way that hims is much better than hims Hims is an e-pharmacy, right? It's an e-doctor, but it's it's an e-pharmacy as well. Uh, what's the difference between Hims and herself versus a pharmacy? Well, you get shipped through the mail, and I know there's there's companies that are beginning to do that, like Express Scripts, for example, but. 
nonetheless, the legacy healthcare is still largely driven by physical retail pharmacies. There's 45,000 physical re retail pharmacies versus shipping. And so if you order a treatment with HIMSS, you're just going get to get it shipped to the mail through the mail on a monthly basis. And the first time you get the treatment, it's going to be overnight shipping. You're, you're going you're gonna to receive it the next day or the day after. So in that case, is it better? Well, it depends. If you need, if you need the treatment that day, then it's not better. But in most cases where you are on a long-term treatment plan, is a plan, it's going to be better because you don't have to drive to pharmacy every time you need a refill. You don't need to make the, the stop at the pharmacy a regular stop in your life. And that saves you a lot of time, which makes him better in my view. Then Let's talk about confidentiality. Confidentiality is often forgotten about uh, in healthcare, I, I would argue, in the way that it's set up in the physical world, in the analog world. But the truth is, there are some treatments that you want to get treated through an app, where you want to see a doctor through an app, where you may not want to see your family doctor face-to-face -face and ask your family doctor about getting treated for, say, ED or air loss, right? It, it, may, it may affect you psychologically as a patient, and you don't want to ask for for, for air loss treatment or anything like that. There, there's a lot of confidentiality that goes into play. And of course, it may be easier for people to just address these issues, these sensitive issues, through the confidentiality of an app, through a family doctor or family physician that you don't see on a regular basis. And I argue that this would be a priceless difference. This is a, a, a much um, better way to do it, in my view, for certain conditions and certain issues. than ordering the drugs. This is a little bit of a first principles thinking here, but when you're ordering online a drug, it's truly confidential, right? It, it arrives in packaging that is confidential packaging and nobody knows what's in the package. That's drug ordering online for HIMSS. When you order through a pharmacy, you know, most of the time you yell out your last name in the drive through and you have a conversation through a drive through window about your treatment. The car behind maybe listening, maybe hearing, or if you're in line, you know, how good is the privacy at a walk-up counter in a, in a pharmacy, right? In the U.S., many times pharmacies are going to be at the center of a grocery store. Yeah, I don't think the pharmacy is that great, and you walk and you do grocery shopping, and you may have your prescription just in the basket, along with other things you've purchased. The privacy is enhanced by going through an app, in my view, and by going through a digital way. So that's one way HIMS is better. Dealing with a single app versus dealing with many parties. In traditional healthcare, in legacy healthcare, you need to advocate for yourself. You need to advocate for yourself. You need to pick a physician, understand how these physicians work. Then you need, if you need, if you are referred to a specialist, you need to pick the right specialist. And then you need to fi find a pharmacy. And then you need to figure out who pays what, how the reimbursement work. It's it's a very convoluted process. It's not really set up for the digital world. It's not set up for the world where you do you just go on Amazon, you order something, you get it. The next day. HIMSS is much better suited for the digital world. You get an app, you have one single app, one single pane of glass, one point of contact that deals with your e-doctor, your e-pharmacy without any of the issues of insurance and figuring out how much things cost, how much things don't cost, what's covered, what's not covered, calling here and there to figure it out. Now, moving on to the customized drugs. Now, this is something that's not even applicable to regular pharmacies. Compound, com compound drugs are actually hard to come by these days. Well, not with automated pharmacies like that of HIMSS. HIMSS has introduced customized drug products, one for hair loss, one for weight loss, one for cardio. You get a drug that is customized exactly to your need. That is one of the big advantages of going through HIMSS and HERS as opposed to going through a traditional pharmacy, I argue. This is a priceless difference because you, you would have a very hard time finding a pharmacy that does a product just for you. The same argument applies to bundled drugs. When you have multiple drugs put together into another pill. So we're not talking about the quantity this time and the size of the drug itself, but we're talking about all drugs compounded together in one product, right? Uh, and that increases patient adherence. And that is, in a way, that's a customized drug too, but that's a even higher level of, of customization, an even better level of customization. You definitely don't get that in traditional insurance. Then, 
Another big advantage, seeing a doctor or provider within 48 hours, which is what HIMSS largely offers on the platform. You don't get that through legacy healthcare. Legacy healthcare is up to four months, depending. And sometimes you may not see a doctor. Sometimes you may see you, you, you may see a nurse. So, so it's important to figure out that, that, that HIMSS really allows you to see someone, to see a provider much quicker. In that case, um, that's up to 60 times, 60x better in, in, in my simple calculation. And if you had to go for a doctor who then refers you to a specialist, that's even longer. Now, what about clear clear pricing? This may this may not apply to to, to everyone and to every insurance company, but with him, so what you see on the screen is what you have to pay, and that's what you get. It's not always the case with legacy healthcare. It's very often with legacy healthcare that, that you'll go in and you'll pay something to your doctor and then there's a problem with your insurance, there's a problem with communication or anything like that. And sometimes you get a bill in the mail for the remainder of the money that you owe. Uh, and sometimes it's a very random amount. It could be a very, very small amount, but you're putting yourself at the risk of being sent to collections if you didn't get that bill in the mail for re for the remainder of what you owe. Uh, um, you know, and, and if you're used to going to the doctor's office, you may know it's like, oh, you don't owe us anything. We'll contact you if you owe us something, right? You, you. It's always convoluted. You don't have clear pricing when it comes to to insurance and if you add things like in network out of network or how all of these things stuff how 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 everything works um People have come to love the clear pricing. They, they've come to love to understand how to shop in the Amazon way, where, where the price that you see is the price that you pay. And so a system like a Hims and Arrows app, a system like a healthcare app, avoids these unexpected bills. Now, what about this? What about 24-7 concierge and provider access? Now, what if you have, say, a side effect with a drug? And it's, it's uh, you know, it's, I, I don't know, it's a Sunday or it's the middle of the night. Well, with the app, you can talk to someone and ask a question and get guidance right away with the app. In the traditional legacy pharmacy world, how do you talk to your pharmacist? How do you, do you get access to advice in the middle of the night? You can't do that. The doctor's office is closed. The pharmacy is closed. So this is one of these ways where I believe it's way superior to have this 24-7 concierge that can, that can follow you for your health. And imagine how much better this is going to get through the years. This is going to get insanely better as we incorporate more AI in the prescription and the follow-ups and in the patient adherence. And you could have ping notifications on your phone. Remember to take your pill. This holistic app idea for healthcare treatment in my view is a true zero to one product it is it is revolutionary and the last one is what the last one is ai assisted treatment recommendations now this is on the provider end this is something that they're implementing hims because they have more than 1 million patients they're able to analyze which drugs work for what condition and which what drugs don't work and their ai is able to make recommendation for the most proper most proper treatment based on the highest number of data based on their own proprietary data it's a recommender system that they run on top of anonymized proprietary data. Now, this leads us into a future where a provider may be able to give a better prescription because the, the system is able to recommend a drug or recommend something that the provider may have not thought of. And over the years, I also believe these recommender systems for treatment, for health treatments, are just going to get so much better. So this is just you know, this is just some of the aspects that make HIMS a zero to one idea, that make HIMS a better product all around than legacy healthcare, a better service all around than legacy healthcare, knowing but I'm, I'm really almost being unfair calling it legacy healthcare. I believe, I believe HIMSS is a modern approach to healthcare, what, what we would call preventative healthcare, while legacy healthcare actually does a really good job for sick care. And HIMSS was not designed for sick care. Care. HIMSS is designed for really these these issues that these health issues that you get early early on, not those issues that you get later on, but those early on issues. That's what HIMSS is designed for. So really, really, we should talk about. And this is a in in my more progressive descriptions of HIMSS. This is the way I describe this company. I call HIMSS a healthcare company, and I call 
healthcare and the insurance system. I call all of this sick care, sick care, because it is it is really the main reason. You 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 most people get insurance not for their day to day health, even though the day to day health is what matters most. No, you get mostly insurance for those moments where you are really sick, those sick care moments where you may have to get treated for very unfortunate conditions like, like cancer or like having to have surgery, etc. etc. Anyways. This was it for my zero to one comparison of HIMSS versus the legacy healthcare system. This was not investment advice, just entertainment. I hope you were entertained. I appreciate your likes, appreciate your subscribes. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.